Welcome back everybody to another Granberry TV interview. I'm Shanna Smith-Snyder with the City of Granberry and joining me today is Marty Vollenkamp and um, he is going to tell us just a little bit about what's going to go on right here at the Hood County Reunion Grounds where we're standing right here. All of the action is going to take place here at the Hood County Reunion Grounds in just a few days for the Hood County Junior Livestock Show. Marty, you want to tell us a little bit more? Well, this uh, we're making preparations for our county stock show, which will officially begin next Wednesday at 8 o'clock. The gates will unlock, and we'll start moving animals into the facilities. Uh, and so that's kind of the official opening, but we've been making preparations since early December. And in fact, many of these 4-H uh, and FFA members from across Hood County have actually had their animals on feed, some as long as since last March or April. Uh, when we started getting some steers on feed. And so really it's a year-long process that will kind of end up here at the County Stock Show. If you will, this is kind of our high school football playoff game or, or maybe uh, you know the big state UIL meet or something like that for these 4-H and FFA members. And so it'll all start off next Wednesday officially and continue through next Saturday when we have our sale of champions. Definitely. I know this is a big event, a big event. A uh, big competition for you all, and um, you know, lots like as Marty was telling us, it's a big preparation to gear up for this. And um, we were visiting earlier, and so Marty's going to take us actually inside the buildings, and we're going to go through what all it takes to get um, the students prepared and what they have to go through for um, their junior livestock show. It's very interesting. So we're going to take you a behind the scenes tour, and um, all of the action is going to begin here just in a few days. So we're going to take you inside. All right, well, Marty, tell us a little bit about where we're standing right now. Okay, well, we're actually currently in what we call our old show barn. And this, uh, as we talked about a little bit before we came on air, uh, over the years as the show has grown, the Hood County Livestock Raisers Association has added on to the facilities. And so where we're actually standing right now, come next Wednesday, uh, there's going to be cattle standing right here. And so this is now our barn where we house all of our animals. Uh, so we'll have pigs, steers. Uh, sheep and goats all housed in the barn that we're standing in right now uh, and this is where the exhibitors will feed their animals we have wash racks down on the other end uh, so as they prepare them for show they're going to take them down there oftentimes give them a bath um, as I said you know the show officially begins Wednesday but we're actually starting to get those animals ready right now uh, in terms of what we call clipping so uh, for you people out there kind of like a haircut kind of like a haircut and uh <laughs> In addition to that, we may trim some fingernails and uh, do some things like that to get them show ready. Because we're raising livestock, but it is a show. And so you kind of mix and match the industry of raising the best animal for meat production. But it is a show. They gotta, we got to put it together in a pretty package, too. And so right here is where uh, we'll be housing all the animals. Sure, absolutely. So you're, you're getting ready um, for, for actually two different elements, it sounds like, in, in combining your industry there. So you talk about how the, uh, how the show has grown. How many years has the um, livestock show and sell have been, has, have been going on here in Hood County? You know, I'm going to lie to you if I tell you a number. So I'm just going to say it's over 50. I remember wow. a few years ago, I've been here since May of 01, and I know we've had our 50th year in there. So I'm wanting to say we're in our late 50s. Uh, in terms of numbers of stock shows, uh, but I can't give you an exact number today. Definitely. Well, I mean, this is this is a great facility out here, and and here in just a couple of minutes, we'll be going into another facility right here at the reunion grounds, and we'll be talking a little bit more and showing our viewers all of the process that the students have to get. Um, ready for um, to uh, show and sell the animals and get ready for the auction. So it's a lot that the students have to get ready for and a lot of responsibilities as we were talking earlier today. Exactly. And, and as I stated earlier, uh, many of these animals have been on feed at least since this summer. And so uh, those 4-H and FFA members purchase those animals, use their own money. Uh, they show through the FFA or 4-H program. And so they're learning things like responsibility, uh, those animals oftentimes we're feeding two and three times a day, uh, depending on the animals. So they have to, on Christmas morning, uh, those animals still have to be fed. So they're Absolutely. learning some of those responsibilities and parenting skills uh, that go on uh, throughout the year. They're also learning about competition. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. And the difference, uh, one of the things they learn is we use judges that are qualified, uh, that know about the animals, but it's that person's opinion on that day. You know, if we brought a different judge in here a different day, they may line them up slightly different. So Definitely. You, you kind of learn that sometimes uh, 
you know, you're being judged by somebody else's opinion, and that may not match what you think, but it's something you have to live with. Right. And so, Marty, where do the judges come from? We get them from throughout the state of Texas. Uh, many of them are either ag teachers, uh, county agents throughout the state of Texas. Maybe they're a breeder or somebody associated with the industry. And we have different judges for all the different uh, species. So we get to try to get somebody that is familiar with cattle to judge our cattle show. Uh, I think we've got judges coming this year uh, from College Station. We've got some coming from as close by as Joshua. Definitely. So we've talked about um, the FFA program. We've talked about Hood County. Um, who actually puts on the uh, livestock show and sell each and every year? Okay, it's a group of uh, individuals uh, that make up an organization called the Hood County Livestock Raisers Association. And they're the ones that own the facilities, upkeep the facilities out here. Uh, and that is the group that makes the rules and puts on the show for us uh, and, and does all the behind the scenes work. Uh, and so that group is primarily about, I want to say a membership of about 30 to 35 people. Many of them in the past either participated themselves or maybe had kids or grandkids mm -hmm. in the program. Many of them no longer have kids or grandkids, but they just believe in the program and That's they right. donate their time. Uh, to help out our 4-H and FFA members. Absolutely. Well, that's that's the great thing about Hood County is, um, you know, always reaching out and lending a helping hand to our students and um, to the community. So, well, Marty, let's go ahead and go on to our next building, um, giving us some wonderful background and history on the program and uh, just checking out our wonderful facility here. So we're going to go ahead and head on into the next building and uh, learn a little bit more about the process uh, behind this great event and uh, what the students have to prepare for to get ready for the competition and, and the sale and show and auction. All right, well, now we're standing here in the show barn. And so, Marty, tell us a little bit about what activity takes place right in here. Where we're standing right now is, is, like you said, the Quartz Cleveland Show Barn. And this was added a few years ago. It's our latest addition to the uh, stock show. And it's really been nice because, as you can see, we've got lots of room. We'd outgrown our other show barn. Sure. Uh, people, you didn't have a place to sit. And so we've got plenty of room in here. And even on years like a few years ago where we were 7 degrees on the morning of the sale, uh, oh we bring some big heaters in here. And, and you put a coat on, and, and it's comfortable in mm -hmm. here. And so this is our show barn. This is primarily where all the animals are exhibited. Mm -hmm. uh, where we're standing right now, we won't be able to stand come about Wednesday or Thursday because there'll be trailers and barbecue pits and those type of things that are entered in our Ag Mechanics Division. And back here behind us, uh, as you can see, uh, maybe where the, the, the dirt's plowed up, we'll be mm -hmm. at actually probably tomorrow putting up the show ring. And so we were down in the livestock barn earlier. All those animals that are housed down there, uh, the... Uh, Livestock raisers, the announcer will announce to bring certain classes of animals, and those animals will come up the hill into the show barn. And so and then they'll be exhibited here. The judge will place them, and, they, and then they go back to their pen after that show's over. And uh, as we talked earlier, many of these animals have been on feed. So uh, to show in this show, you have to be a member of either FFA at one of the uh, – school district, so Granbury Toller Lapan, or a okay. member of Hood County 4-H. Okay. Very similar organizations. Uh, the FFA is through the school system. The 4-H is through the extension office where I work. Right. Uh, get to do a lot of similar things uh, in those organizations. And so you have to be a member. Like I said earlier, they buy their own animals. They feed their own animals. They take care of themselves under right. the direction of the ag teachers or myself. And then through the 4-H program, we have a lot of volunteers, adult leaders that help them. Our livestock raisers have some processes that they have to go through called validations. And so uh, we validate the steers in June. And so what we do at a validation is we'll actually put an ear tag in those animals' ear, and that will be recorded. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put tattoos in their ear in case they lose the ear tag. Uh, there's some paperwork that the 4-H and FFA members fill out, and they have to pay validation fees or entry fees. And so that occurs in uh, June for steers. Mm -hmm. We'll do uh, sheep and goats in October. In November, we'll do hogs. And then if they're just going to county, a lot of that's done in November. And we also do rabbits and chickens here. And so uh, rabbits uh, will be in first part of December. Chickens will be in November. So several steps along the way. And, all uh, gearing up for, for this event, all gearing up for the county's event. Exactly. And, and this year, uh, from our sales superintendent, our show superintendent, uh, we've got 350 exhibitors uh, entered. 
Now, these are numbers uh, that are validated, so I can't tell you that's exactly what we're going to have here because sometimes an animal dies or, uh, you know, a kid get sick getting or, sick can't okay. be here. Another thing is these uh, exhibitors have to follow UIO rules. No pass, no play. Right. So you could put in six or seven months of work, and if they're not making their grades at school, at that, the time. that animal stays home and they don't get to show. Right. Uh, this year we've got 15 ag mechanics divisions entered. Uh, 17 heifers, 29 pens of broilers or chickens, uh, some breeding sheep and goats entered, 117 market goats, 105 market lambs, 54 steers, 175 market swine, uh, 24 pen of three rabbits, and 181 single rabbits or single fryers, and then something like 700 entries in the family living division, which is the arts and crafts and cooking. And so all that has been prepared and the validations have taken place all, all to get ready for, for next week. Right, absolutely. So tell us those totals again, all, all categories, roughly. Roughly about 350 exhibitors, roughly about 500 animal projects, and about 700 family living division entries. Right, we're all right here in Hood County. Yes, ma'am. Wow, that is amazing. Great participation. And would you say that this is a record year for participation? Our numbers may actually be a little bit down compared to previous years. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, I think we had 388 exhibitors mm -hmm. entered. And, but we're, since 2001, since I've been here, we've kind of been on a steady growth and we've kind of plateaued off a little bit. And now the numbers are kind of settling back down. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely a really good year. Excellent. That's wonderful to hear. And, and so when you say the exhibitors, are they allowed to have more than one entry or more than one animal? Or are they also allowed to enter the arts and crafts? Or how does that work? There's a whole set of rules that our livestock raisers puts together for this show. And, and each rule set of rules are different. So, you know, if you go to the county stock show in Somerville County, their rules are going to be a little different. Mm -hmm. If you go to the Fort Worth stock show, their rules are different. Mm -hmm. uh, but our 4-H and FFA members here are able to show two animals per species. Okay. So a 4-H could theoretically, or FFA member could have two steers, two goats, two lambs, you know, two of all of those. Now, they are limited on how many they can make the sale because we're trying to divide out some of that money. Sure. Uh, and so a 4 H FFA member can have two projects in the sale. So if uh, exhibitor had two sheep and two goats and they all placed high enough to make the sale, then they've got to pick which two they want to sell. Okay. So now we talked about how the process works from moving from one barn and coming over right over here to the other barn. So how does that work from um, go now, to, now the auction? Do all of those that, that show make the auction or tell us a little bit more about that you know and that that is kind of one of the, the the tough parts of this I guess you would say is not everybody's going to make the sale and so our rules stipulate that in what I call our major species the cattle the pigs the lambs and the goats the top 50 percent of each class makes a sale okay. so if we have eight goats in a class mm -hmm. four is going to make the sale you know if there's five steers in a class 50% is two and a half, so we can't sell half a steer, so only two get to make the right. sale. And so, uh, you know, these 4-H and FFA members put a lot of money into these animals. Um, and I did some estimations a few years ago uh, using some, some work and some surveys that Dr. Chris Bowman, our state 4-H director, put mm -hmm. together. And uh, it turned out that roughly, and this is an estimate, guys, but for every dollar spent in the sale, about 75% sense of that is spent back in the local area buying feed buying medicine for those animals uh, so these 4-h and ffa members are putting forth a lot of money to try to qualify for that scale and honestly most of our 4-h and ffa members if they break even that's a good year for them and so in that regards it's it kind of resembles our ag industry Sure, definitely. I and mean, you talked about a lot of the uh, responsibility and the character building that these students are learning. Um, absolutely, they're learning also a lot about uh, what it takes monetarily to uh, participate in these type of events. And um, I, I loved hearing about your facts and figures and the studies going on behind uh, behind the scenes and, and as part of the industry. Um, it's it's a great economic impact uh, event. The uh, 4-H and the Hood County Livestock event each and every year um, puts back a lot of uh, money back into our local economy um, just from around the county as people come right into Granbury and right here into the center of Hood County um, not only for the medicine 
medicine um, that they put forth for their animals, um, the feed, um, but also right here into our restaurants and gas stations as well. So it's a wonderful event that you guys put on each and every year. So we appreciate all of the hard work that you and your folks do. So. Well, and, you know, uh, we do, and, and, you know, I tell people this to come into my office and they think they want to get a 4 H and show the animals, you know, Yes, we love when we make the sale. And, and many times uh, parents are the, the financiers of these projects sure. uh, because a 4-H or FFA member without some parental support can't participate in this. You know, it just, it's a true family event. Mm -hmm. And uh, so a lot of times the, the money that these kiddos make in the sale, maybe mom and dad said, hey, I'm going to buy the feed or I'm going to buy this project. And uh, then they're able to put that money away to buy another animal or or to start building up for college. And right. uh, we are very fortunate here in Hood County that we have great support from our businesses. Uh, I, I don't have any hard figures, but I'm going to say when you look at the size of our county and our population, you know, I'm going to put us in the top five in, in shows and sales in the state uh, just in terms of when I talk to other county agents across the state and tell them here's what, if you can win a class at our county show, you know, this is about how much money those kids are going to get. You know, they're impressed by what goes on here in Hood County. And that's all because the businesses and the people in the community see the value in our 4-H and FFA members participating in this event. Right, and support that each and every year. That's wonderful to hear. Well, um, as we wrap up in this building, is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, you know, once again, I, I can't thank the businesses enough. And I want to stress that this is a free event for people to come out to. Uh, there's no parking, or there is parking, you just don't have to pay for it. Right. Uh, so it's not like when you go to the Fort Worth Stock Show. Uh, you doesn't cost you to get into the event. So if you want to have a, just a good place to bring your kids out, let them see some animals, mm -hmm. it's a great place to do that. It's a family event. Uh, and definitely educational as well, it sounds like. Sounds like a wonderful event. Educational, you, they might learn something about animals. Right. Uh, I can't make any promises, but if you happen to see me running around here and you want to ask me a question about, you know, why are y'all uh, sticking that in that goat's mouth, I'll be glad to try to visit with you about that and explain what we're doing because, you know, there are some things we're doing that we're trying to uh, help those animals out and make them be the best that they can be for that show. Absolutely. Well, we've got one more building that we're going to head into. And as Marty mentioned, um, this is a wonderful family-friendly event that you can come on out to multiple days next week. So we're going to head over to that final building, talk a little bit more about how you right here in the community can come on out to this event. And uh, so we'll wrap up with those details and how you can find out more. Well, we are now in the exhibit hall out here at the reunion grounds and there's going to be a great silent auction and a wonderful way that you can come out here and support the 4-H um, students and um, the kids right here in Hood County. Marty, tell us a little bit more. Well, one of the things that we have with our county stock show, it's called our family living division and, and maybe not every 4-H or FFA member out there can afford to feed an animal or has spot at their house to, to keep animals. So the family living division is kind of your arts and crafts and cooking division of our county stock show. And so uh, 4-H and FFA members can enter that and they can enter up to 20 items. So that may oh, be wow. baked goods, that could be something they, like I said, arts and crafts or sewing that they've done. That judging will take place. Those, those uh, entries will be checked in here uh, Thursday morning and they will be judged on Thursday. Then we have a silent auction that begins. And so those items, you know, you may be able to come out here and buy something uh, to decorate your house for $20. And so maybe you can't, can't afford to help out in the sale on Saturday, mm -hmm. but you want to come help the kids, that'd be a great way to come out and uh, buy some of those items. And you may get something really nice out of that deal as well. And so that takes place in here. The silent auction runs through Friday. So if you want to come out and watch some of the show on Friday and maybe bid on some of these items, great opportunity, kind of all in one shopping that day. Uh, Friday morning also in this building, our Hood County 4-H program will be hosting our pancake breakfast. And that's one of our annual fundraisers that we use to help send 4-Hers to camp. And so you can come out that morning between 6 and 8 o'clock and eat pancakes here. The Lions Club uh, helps us out with that. They cook and then we'll have 4-Hers 4 and 4-H parents flipping sausage. And the uh, cost on that is $5 for adults and $2 for children, and, and we're going to serve right over there. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have some tables set up here and out in the show barn that you can eat at. 
So, you know, Friday's a really good day to come out because you can eat pancakes, you get to see the family living, maybe, maybe do some, watch some of the show. Watch some of the show. Uh, you know, Friday, a lot of people think, uh, you know, the steer show is kind of the big show, and that's our last show Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can watch the champion of uh, steer being crowned, you know, if that's what you're into. And that kind of ends up our, our show. Mm -hmm. uh, and so normally we're done Friday out here by about 4.30. So if you come much after that, you're probably not going to see much other than uh, trying to get ready for the sale the next day. So we'll back in the show barn where we're at, uh, we'll tear all that down. We'll put up our sale, and then Saturday we have a steak lunch. And uh, I'm going to tell you, it's probably the best deal in Hood County. Uh, <laughs> Sounds we, like we won't want to miss out on that. You then. won't. And, and for ten dollars, uh, you get steak, salad, beans, a drink. Uh, so I mean, where can you go get all that for ten? dollars For just ten dollars, and it's going towards a great cause. It is, and, and our 4-H and FFA members have tickets that they're trying to sell. And so if you know a 4-H or FFA, FFA member, uh, ask them, hey, do you got any of those steak dinner tickets? Or you can come by my office. I got a whole big stack of them. And so, tell us where your office is. My office is in the Annex 1. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where you do your early voting, get your vehicle tags, and I'm easy to find. I'm right in the back, right across from the ladies' restroom. <laughs> easy to find. And remind everybody, remind our viewers what your exact title is with Hood County. My title is County Extension Agent for Ag and Natural Resources. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll have that steak lunch. We'll serve from 11 to about 12.30, and then the sale begins at 1. Uh, and so um, on Saturday about 1, we'll have two to 3,000 people out here, uh, and you can come watch some of the sales. The sale's exciting mm -hmm. uh, because that's where the 4-H uh, and FFA members who are placed, you know, they're rewarded for their efforts. And, and once again, because of the great generosity of our businesses, uh, are out there. We have several buyers groups, mm -hmm. uh, and so maybe you know we've got a small business out there that just can't afford to come uh, and buy an animal, but they want to give a couple of hundred dollars. Sure. Those buyers groups will work with those businesses, and you know, they get a fifty dollars here, two hundred dollars here. Maybe there's some individuals that you want to make a twenty dollar donation. Uh, those buyers groups will pull that money together and help buy some of the animals at the sale as well. Absolutely. Well, the sale is exciting, and you guys have real auctioneers and i know the kids get excited about that as well so and they are rewarded for their efforts you're absolutely right we'll run a approximately 200 sale lots that day uh -huh. uh, we have two auctioneers uh, lonnie and donnie johnson mm -hmm. who are long time hood county residents and they'll auction it off uh, and, and so it's, it's exciting especially at the beginning because after we sell the champions we stop we take some pictures with the buyers uh, if you come out here uh, in our show barn up on the top wall, you can see our top 10 buyers from the last couple of years. So those businesses' names are up there. So, you know, they kind of like to have their names up there. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's good publicity for them and it kind of gives them some bragging rights Sure, well. sure. Well, I mean, it sounds like a wonderful event. Um, you know, we're all gearing up. We're, I know the county is, is excited. Uh, lots of buzz going on about, about this year's show and auction. Um, and lots of great ways to uh, come out and get involved and bring your family out and, uh, you know, give them that educational experience that you were talking about as well. So we've got the uh, silent auction, the arts and crafts, the uh, pancake breakfast and steak lunch, and then, of course, the wonderful show and auction. So, well, is there anything else you'd like to add as we wrap up today? You know, I'd just like to say thank you to the Livestock Raisers Association for putting those on. Those people work, you know, some of those people are up here all the time getting stuff ready. Uh, and then thank you to the businesses uh, who support this show in one way or the other. Uh, not all of them will buy in the sale, but there's tons of businesses out there that support our 4-H and FFA kids, and, and all this wouldn't be possible without them. Absolutely. So we've got the show Wednesday through Saturday. Um, right here at the reunion grounds and so you know not too far from the square not too far from downtown very easy to find and um, so for the full schedule that Marty was talking about um, and more details you can always go on to our website granberrytx.com or granberrytv.org um, for all of those details well Marty it's been a pleasure thanks so much for showing us around the reunion grounds where all of the exciting action is going to take place thanks so much for your time today yeah, thank, thank you this has been another Granberry TV interview